Hello, it's Tanya with Tinkering in Ink with Tanya. I'm back with a color layering video with Hero Arts Beachscapes. This stamp came out with the April 2020 My Monthly Hero as an add-on, and it is so fun. I love that it creates this beach wave coming in uh, in two simple layers. I'm using the reactive uh, inks from Hero Arts, the Hero Hues. In this layer, I am using Pool Party. <clears throat> I do stamp it two or three times to get a good solid inking. And I um, then I'm going to add some embossing powder to this image. This layer is Splash ink. And I also have to ink this a few times since I'm using the reactive inks. <clears throat> I don't need to make sure each layer is dry before I proceed. If you're using dye based inks, you do need to make sure those layers are dry or they're going to get a little mm, not as crisp. They will start to blend together. So I tried to add the uh, sparkling sea embossing powder, which is this thick, luscious, sparkly embossing powder that is from Hero Arts that works great with water stuff. <clears throat> but it doesn't stick. There isn't enough juice left on that. Um, maybe because it was dry. Maybe just because I wasn't fast enough. Maybe because we need actually to use Versamark. Usually I can use the Hero Arts reactive inks to emboss with, but not always. So I'm going to heat set that quick and you can see all the shimmer and sparkle. And then I get a little smarter and I turn the paper sideways so that I can get both layers of this stamp set in the Misty at the same time. So I could do several panels at once if I wanted. So I could stamp both the back the furthest back layer, the lighter layer, um, which on this particular image had a couple of spots that didn't really take. I needed to clean a little dirt off my stamp, so I did that quick. And I only it only took one um, image, one impression to get rid of those spots. So I'm going to line that up quick, and we'll have the second layer, and I would be able to do multiples without having to remove the stamps. I can just throw in new panels. If, you, if I wanted to make a bunch. I do end up making four or five panels with this with different color combinations and different embossing powder combinations. So I do stamp that a couple of times with the splash ink and now I am doing a couple times with Versamark. Now we're going to try blue pearl embossing powder. Now if you were lucky enough to get the July 2019 My Monthly Hero Kit, you got this blue pearl embossing powder. And I've been lobbying Hero Arts to get that embossing powder back because I love it. It is beautiful. It's another thick one. And I probably should have started heating that from the back first because some of the powder scattered across the paper. Um, I'm showing you that that one is my favorite with Sparkling Sea using Pool Party and Blue Raspberry inks together. And um, I cut that out with just an oval from my stash. And I'm trying to use the Simon Hurley dye ink uh, Clear Skies to add the sky. And then a little antique linen to the beach. And it does look nice. You might notice that I got some... Mm, residue left on my ink pad, my dye ink pad from the reactive inks. I'm probably going to switch to using just uh, those on oxides and get another set of blender brushes for that. I tried to make this smooth out a little bit um, with some pearlized water. Didn't work out great for anything but the beach in the sky. So I end up covering up my favorite panel of the beach with the Sparkling, nope, that is the Blue Pearl version. And the Beachscapes die set, uh, sorry, stamp set, has a coordinating die set that cuts out all of the images. It doesn't cut out the sentiments, but it does come out, cut out the images. And I want those beach waves to layer perfectly over this oval. So I'm lining it up carefully, using a little washi tape to hold that in place and die cutting that quick. And while I'm at it, I also die cut 
another layer of coaster board or coaster blank, sorry, coaster blank. And I'm going to use some Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, which I discovered, thank you, to Mary Polanco. She has uh, lots of videos that show you uh, inexpensive ways. She reviews a lot of products. She's, she's, um, I've done blog hops with her before. She's really uh, got some good reference stuff for us. I am using the Cree, hmm, Paper Crafting Crew Challenge for this week which is a sketch challenge. And that's how I'm doing the layout of this card to keep, to get those strips in the back behind the main image. I am using the same inks I used to stamp the waves. That is Pool Party and Splash inks. Those names are just totally appropriate for this, for this theme. And I am ink blending on some white scraps. This just happens to be white scraps from the splashes conveniently laying on my desk. I'm going to spritz those with pearlized water, which I can't seem to stop myself from using and heat setting that quick. And then I will pop that in my Misty and stamp a couple of sentiments from the Beachscapes stamp set. If that's a really large, I think it's even bigger than six by eight. It's a big stamp set. Um, I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black, which I love and does do very well with heat embossing. I think I stamped it a couple times just to get a nice solid um, sentiment. I might not have pushed hard enough and using some Brutus Monroe Icicle Embossing Powder, which is one of my, that is my favorite clear embossing powder. Taking this panel of 80 pound white cardstock and spritzing that with pearlized water also, cause I wanted, I didn't want it to be quite so stark white. Heat setting that quick and it is warped all to heck and gone, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that later. We'll smush a little bit of the pool party and the splash ink on my craft mat and use a wet paintbrush to make those a little juicier and spatter those on the background. Um, and then I will heat set that quick. Again, don't worry about the warping. We're going to fix that later. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get that to match up the rest of the way with my sketch. And I'm going to take, I thought both of those stamps were birds. They're not. One of those stamps is a shark fin, which I'm sure I'll come up with amazing ways to use. And I stamp a couple of those birds. Now we're going to use more of the coaster blanks cut down to fit perfectly behind this uh, panel. And I'm going to uh, put the glue on those. I'll stick it under my Misty just to make sure it stays nice and flat. I'm pretty sure you don't have to do that. But with this method, I always get beautifully flat panels, even when they are the most warped piece you've ever seen. So I'll glue that on again, and we're just going to quickly layer the rest of the elements on this card. The sentiments didn't actually fit on the front, so I had ink blended and cut out a couple of other or panels to put behind, or strips to behind, put behind the main image. Um, and I'll glue all that in place just to keep that nice and even. I'm going to add just one more layer of coaster blank behind that oval to pop that over those strips. And it just wasn't quite enough. So I grabbed out some embellishments. These are from past My Monthly Hero. And um, I'm not sure where those sequins come, came from. They may have come from an Ink Road uh, purchase. She was sending sequins with her packages for a while there. And um, I saved them all. I, I'm pretty sure that's where those are from. We'll just tack those down. I'm using a wax pencil I got off of Amazon. I think you get a 10 count for like eight bucks. They use them in nail art. This is a couple of starfish and feet that I'm going to, that I've embossed with sand embossing powder. And I use some of the leftover um, wave image from those die cut waves and created a couple more waves. They don't have to match up. They 
look beautiful. So I did one that does that has sparkly and one that doesn't and tack those in behind the main image just to add a little more interest. And you see those cinnamon strips got tucked on the inside. So here are some close-up images of these this card. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out the description box below the video for the clickable link list of all the products I used. And don't forget to follow me. Subscribe, hit the bell so you get a reminder every time I post a video, and come back again soon. Thank you so much for visiting. Bye-bye.